everyone, it's Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome. I will be designing a necklace on this video tutorial using the Softlex Company um, items I have claimed on their live sales. The past. I will leave a link down below in the description so you can check out the information on their fantastic live sales. They are most Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. I thought it'd be fun to kind of make a star necklace. We will be using the beautiful Softlex flex color in purple amethyst it is one of my favorites they're using some of these tiara cast charms with the moon on one side and then the star on the other and of course our little connection here and this is the tiara cast finding and these were purchased at softlex company last year these were a couple of my live sale claims. I just felt that they worked perfectly together. They do such a great job at bunching like items together so you can just claim them so I have these ones I thought it'd be really cool with the theme. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm always posting new content. So by subscribing to this channel, you'll be notified when a new video uploads. Let's start creating. So go ahead and cut two 10 inch lengths of your medium soft flex wire and then i'm going to be using a lobster claw for my clasp and you can use any um clasp that you would like so we have our 10 inch length we're just going to slide on a two by two what i love too about the soft flex is that it's going to show in the design so you can really incorporate it and make it match your beads we're just going to loop it back through our two by two. And we wanna give it a little bit more room than we normally would if we were to attach a clasp, um, just because we want the necklace to kind of float around. So once you have your spacing, it's going to come in and give it a little smash and we're gonna rotate and it's just going to give it a more professional finish. We have a little bit of a tail, so we can go ahead and trim that, or we can slide one of our beads over, like these hand-painted um, ceramic beads from Peru. They have a large hole so that they would sit right on top of a tail bead for our little tail. So we can just tuck it in. It's got a really large hole, so it's actually sliding over um, our little two by two as well. So if you didn't like how it smashed down, we can just hide it and then we'll just trim off our little tail. So we have our little loop and then our first bead. And if you don't have one of the tiara cast bindings, you can just use any large metal component um, or you can make your own out of an 18 or 20 gauge wire. And if you use the soft flex craft wire, it comes in so many different colors that that way um, you can really incorporate it with your design. And use one of these little um, paint splatter beads and it's just going to kind of nestle into that ceramic bead and these ones were really neat it was a really good deal on these they're just like little um I don't know what shape that is but it's super cute and when you stack them they kind of nestle together and it's got like an aurora borealis kind of just worked with the pattern so we're just going to keep repeating the pattern and one of our little ceramic beads. Found that Softlex Company has the best ceramic beads. So we'll just keep stringing these on until we reach the desired length of our necklace. So we have added on all our beads onto our amethyst Softlex wire. Just look at the pattern, it just really looks like a galaxy. You can really say um, it's a one of a kind piece because of the Peruvian beads that are hand painted. So no two are gonna be alike. So now we're going to attach our clasp and I'm gonna attach the little lobster claw. So we're just gonna slide on our two by two and then our clasp and pass back through our two by two. We're gonna let that soft flex wire show at the end how well it matches our pattern. Just come and give it a little smash and rotate. And then we're just going to trim off the tail and always save your soft flex wire. You never know when you're gonna need it for another project. So we have one side of our necklace done. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take our 10 inches of soft flex wire, 
one of our two by twos. We want to make sure that our loop is fairly the same size, if not identical. I know that's hard to do, so got to make it the best we can, just so that our necklace is even. And then we'll just come in and give it a little smash and rotate. So we have our second little loop on there. You can see that this could also be like a bracelet and this could be um, the main focal point and then you can hang little charms on it. So we're just going to start adding on our beads in the same pattern that we did before. And you can tell how it's just gonna kind of dangle um, with our little charms at the end. So we added on the beads to the other side of our necklace and we're going to leave our loop and this is where our lobster claw is going to attach. We're just going to give it a smash and rotate have our beautiful necklace. We're just going to open up our little clasp or jump the lobster claw and we have our beautiful necklace. Now we're going to attach our puzzles or our little charms and dangles. And normally you can just add a jump ring and then maybe put some chain, but I thought it would be nice to add more of a soft flex wire just to incorporate more of that beautiful purple amethyst color. For your dangles, they're going to be various sizes. So I'm going to cut mine about one and a half inches, three inches, and then maybe four inches, and we'll just see how long they can dangle. So what we're going to do with our soft flex wire is attach our little moons and star charms to each individual wire. And then it's up to you if you just want to put one bead on there or if you want a couple. Um, and then if you want to let your soft flex wire show completely up to you. So I went ahead and added on my first one and I have a little bit of a tail. So I'm just going to go and trim off the soft flex. So we have our first little dangle here, and then I'm gonna use this really pretty lavender crackle bead, and then one of these little check glass. I think these were in the rainy day kit. And we're just gonna slide that on. I'm just gonna leave them off to the side and make my two other ones. That way I can know how long everything is. Slide on a two by two, and our little charm. pass back our wire through our two by two. And again, it's up to you how long you want your little dangle and how much of the soft flex wire you would like to show. Once you have it added on there, we'll just come in and give it a little smash and rotate and this will just round it. And you'll trim off your tail and we'll do the next um, little trim. So we added on the beads to the rest of our dangles. We're just gonna need three more two by twos and I'm going to start with the smallest little dangle and I'm going to put that in the middle. And you have a little bit of a design option if you want them to cascade or you just want to put them on random and so we're going to have our little piece here same way that we attached our necklace. Put our loop our soft flex wire over the loop and pass it back through our two by two. So we have our soft flex wire over the loop and it's passed back through our two by two. We want to make sure that there is room for it to move freely on our little loop. First little dangle and then we'll just keep adding on our dangles. So we added on our last little connection point, our little dangle. We'll just go and give it a smash and rotate and then trim off our little tail. We have our beautiful galactic necklace. What's really nice about these little charms is that they they turn, so they're two sided, so they can just flip if they're, they want to while you're wearing it. 
We have like a little charm necklace with a tassel and then our beautiful beads that we claimed on the live sale from Softlex Company, the hand-painted Peruvian ceramic beads with our beautiful tiara cast and check glass. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for other content and tutorials. Have an awesome day.